Hi guys, this is Matthias, and yes, the Chapter 2 update, Lightning Strikes, is finally here, and as expected, there has been quite a number of reactions to it. Now, one of the things that I was a little bit surprised to see uh, watching the reactions on Reddit was how many people mostly focused on the kill cam. Personally, I would have thought that this would not be such a big deal, and as much as I do think that there are more pressing matters, it is actually quite annoying. Now, what's been bothering me the most when it comes to Battlefield 5, and well, it adds to it in this update, is that you have to spend so much time just waiting, doing nothing. Normally, when I'm dead in a first person shooter, I can at least just go in, change my loadout, maybe change weapon, uh, change it to another gadget, whatever. Maybe, like in Battlefield, you would have hoped that you could from time to time change assignment without leaving the server, that is. I guess DICE has almost two years to fix that, since it's almost going to take that amount of time until we can play the next Battlefield. Now, one of the major things that I was interested in for this patch was of course the changes to the Medic class. And uh, the thing that I will be focusing on mostly in this particular video is the difference between the Somi and the M1928A1, aka Thompson. Now, according to DICE, the Somi had an unfair disadvantage towards the Thompson, something that I, I guess mostly is described as there are certain aspects of the Thompson that made it a little bit too strong at range, or maybe medium range actually. So this weapon had a nerf to one specific upgrade, I think it's the ported barrel upgrade, that uh, its effectiveness was decreased a bit. Oh shit, I don't think I can do that revive. Yeah, I'll talk more about revives soon, but first, check this out, guys. I'm not sure how many of you are aware of all my rage at this particular issue, where the model of the gun had a tendency to block your view while hip-firing with any of the SMGs of the Medic class. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually really surprised that DICE decided to fix this, and it was fixed. I didn't have any issues trying it out during the first hours of this new patch, so yeah. Good on you guys for fixing this issue. Now, unfortunately, there was quite a number of unforeseen issues as well. Even though it wasn't too unforeseeable that we were going to have unforeseeable problems. The most noticeable for me was the indication of a downed soldier or a downed teammate that uh, is supposed to indicate how much more time you have to revive him. Unfortunately, with this patch, the timer was completely removed, and you can't see any difference between a person that was just down a second ago, or a person that has one second left before you can revive. As you can see, there is no movement here, there's no circle spinning or anything. Now, as if that wasn't enough, there is another issue with revives where the ever so controversial animation just doesn't get triggered, and it's like you can't revive at all. Can I revive them now as much as i've briefly touched on some of the changes made to the somi and the thompson there is quite a lot more to it than that a lot of the changes that were made are not only to the weapons themselves but to specific upgrades in order to not only having one weapon favored over another but also not having specific upgrades favoring others at least not too much. So, for example, yeah, to me, it's always been a no-brainer to have extended magazine on some of these SMGs and other weapons as well, but now it might actually be worth considering changing that up a bit, at least on some weapons, and at least during some assignments. So now, I'd like to talk a little bit more specifically about reviving. Keep in mind, for the most part, you don't have this kind of in-game communication. Oh shit, can I get you there? Uh, now they're across the road, behind the wall. Ah, shit. No, no. So what you saw there was not only a problem with the specific bug that I talked about earlier, but what I also want to point out is that the problem with this bug is not only the frustration it has in itself, but also that this has a tendency to bring a lot of toxicity to the community. I've seen a lot of anger and frustration over people not reviving or people not getting revived when they expect a nearby medic to revive them. Now don't get me wrong, this is many times justified, but it's important to understand also that there, these bugs, not only do they hinder a medic from actually performing a revive when he tries, but it's also one of the things that discourages people from attempting to revive in somewhat 
somewhat critical situations. So I think it's really, really unfortunate that DICE makes this change to Battlefield 5 compared to, you know, previous games where they add an animation that, even if it works, is a problem for medics, you know, makes it more risky, but they also implement it before they know it works. It doesn't f***ing work. Now, I've said this before, there are several things that DICE are fantastic at, but animations is not one of them. I mean, I really hope that ever so soon DICE are going to realize that no Battlefield game is going to be better because of a bunch of silly animations, and that is even if they did work, which normally they don't. Why can't I f***ing move? What the hell? And yeah, then we have this problem, still getting stuck on I don't even know what. This started bothering me tremendously when Battlefield 3 was released, and it was one of the reasons why I actually left the Battlefield franchise in order to play Planetside 2. You're supposed to be able to uh, reload, let's see this reloading. So yeah, there's been a quite significant change to the wing-mounted rockets of the fighters. By that I mean we're now allowed to shoot with them again, because the reload time, or should I say the resupply time, is now cut in half. So what happens with anything regarding flying is that it brings up a lot of emotions, especially among people who doesn't fly themselves. So now this fighter, the Spitfire MKVA, it doesn't have any wing-mounted rockets, instead it has the 250-pound bombs, which are the same as some of the bomber planes have. Bombs also had their resupply time reduced. The bombs now take 20 seconds to reload or resupply, and the wing-mounted rockets, 15. Now, the machine guns of the fighters have also been changed, and basically the changes was made so that they should be uh, more in par with each other's at the different ranges. Now these changes mainly favored the German planes, which to me is a little bit surprising, because I've always felt like uh, if it's anything that needed to be changed or buffed, it would be on the British side, and especially the MKVB. But uh, yeah, we'll see, I'll get back to you on that and see what I think about it. What? Oh shit. What is this maneuvering? What? <laughs> So yeah, that's what the bombs of the MKVA can look like. So yeah, the self-loading rifles of the assault class also had quite some changes. There was a few nerfs to the M1A1, my favorite, and uh, there was also some nerfs to the Gewehr 43 and to the Selbstlader. And I would consider these nerfs some of the more natural nerfs that would occur with a game that is relatively new. It does of course take a while for a game developer to find the correct balance between certain weapons and it uh, requires quite a number of kills from the players in the community before they have enough data for it. Now, unfortunately I didn't have the time to compare these weapons, at least not the first time around here or the first day of the update. But it seems like these were minor changes, but if I'm wrong about that and me or anyone else discovers something, then I will of course share that in an upcoming video. Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the most anticipated change was the thing that we talked about earlier, and that is the changes to the medic weapons. Me, I didn't see that much of a difference to be honest, which I have to say is a good thing. I would not want to have any major changes or any game-breaking changes. I think it was... what was needed was some small tweaks, and that is what we've got. 
I actually decided to uh, replace one of the upgrades on this weapon, the Thompson, and it's the level 4 upgrade that I replaced to make it favor uh, hipfire a little bit more at the expense of aim down sight. I haven't really decided whether or not this is something I'm going to stick with or not, but uh, yeah, you'll notice if you keep following the channel. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with some more uh, mixed gameplay from the first day of the patch. Hope you will enjoy it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Halt still, das haben wir gleich. No! <laughs> Two kids with this Indian Nice! Chum!
But he's behind me already. Or did that not work? 